We found a big school. Oh, she should be just my ass. Чувствуешь, клюет, подсекай. Baby, tiny little crappie. Another baby. Tiny little guys. You're a bunch of babies. Vlad, your first fish. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Good. Feel good? It's a good one too. <laughs> Throw it in. Good job, man. Это ты первую рыбу в жизни словил, а?
All right, guys. Welcome back to another one. I'm out here with my friend Vlad. Hey. <laughs> this is his first time fishing in the states. Maybe first time fishing ever. So we got out here. This is Labor Day weekend. Today's Monday, Labor Day. We um we got on the water at like 6 a.m. Try to beat all the traffic. Get here before all the boats and all the the pleasure boaters get out and start blocking all the ramps and stuff like that. I had a bunch of pre-marked brush piles and um, we just kind of drove around and found a school. Uh, we didn't like it, it became really inactive so we found another school in another brush pile that became inactive so uh, we came here to a, a mouth of this cove here and actually you can see that it splits in, in half and right, right in the middle we found a pretty big brush pile that I marked and uh, we've got fish all over it and we're live scoping them here. Is picking up the screensaver so it was a super slow morning it's uh, nine o'clock right now like I said we got on here at six o'clock and we just been catching a bunch of like tiny ones we finally got on a pattern here so we're throwing jigs down and, and usually you know you do the whole you know live scoping sequence where you reel it up this time we're just letting it sit and we're waiting for them to uh, take it so pretty interesting there's not too much boat traffic in this cove here and primarily we're kind of right in the middle of it so if boats do come around they're slowing down but other than that hopefully it's going to be a good Monday um, hopefully get some some fish in the boat I don't know how fast or not we're going to get our limits maybe not get them at all but pretty excited so hope you guys enjoy this one yeah. it's good babies man Bus. Это чуть больше. Смотри. Смотри. Вот так беру. Осторожно, он может так тебе дать. Вытягивай. Good one. What the Whoa, flip? Wow. The tea <laughs> How's that even possible? I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> I thought I had a big fish. All I had was two on one. Fishing's starting to pick up. It's been pretty crappy this whole morning. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Woohoo! Woo. No! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, that's a good one. Check that out. That's a nice one. Just for reference. Well, it's an 11 inch. Nothing too crazy, but it's been pretty slow this morning. We finally found some decent sized ones. One, one of Vlad's cooler, one of mine. Vlad's is bigger than the one he just caught. Alright, tie another one on. Let me get in here. We're still on this big brush pile. There's a bunch of small ones mixed in, but we're getting big ones coming out too. So we're just kind of right over the pile. The wind picked up and it finally got better. Here's my booster deal. I'll take you babies. Baby ones. Yeah. Yep, it's a better one. I don't know if he'll make it. Like he should. Ah. See, I don't know. 
mining. It's a good one. Nope. Because it was a Tiny ones. To this pier. Look at all those fish next to it. Right here. Barely made it by. We're next to the bridge pylon. All right guys, so I'm back home now. As you saw, hopefully the GoPro did its justice today. I couldn't get Active Captain set up onto my phone. Uh, for some odd reason, I need to mess with that tonight. Uh, probably something super simple, but um, I couldn't get it on my phone to where you guys can see the whole live scope action, but hopefully the GoPro picked up the fish that we did catch. So we launched the boat at like 5.30 in the morning, super early. No, uh, a lot of boats were actually already on the water. There's like like five boats probably parked in the parking lot already. Um, I'm, of course, it's Labor Day, you know, people are gonna be fishing, gonna be out having fun. There's a lot of people on jet skis and stuff, but besides the point, um, so we launched the boat and I started going to different brush piles and trying to see where I could find fish. Um, and I was having a really tough time finding them. Um, and we did find a, a couple in the morning. They were just like small fish. Uh, we, we did finally find a couple brush piles in the morning that had fish on them, but the fish were just being super finicky and they just didn't wanna, they didn't wanna bite the jigs. They didn't even want the minnows. So what we did was we just kept bouncing from different brush piles to brush piles. Um, that I had on my graph saved. And really we only picked off like a couple of them off uh, a couple of brush piles, but really I was doing like a lot of driving around trying to like find them really, it was, it was super tough. We couldn't get on anything until uh, like around nine o'clock when I made that intro, when I made the intro to this video, uh, we started picking off smaller fish. They were like eight inches, nine inches, which is pretty small. Um, so we couldn't really find anything until like nine o'clock. Uh, and then that brush pile was kind of hot for a minute and then that thing ended up dying down the fish became inactive um, So we left that place and um, I did a lot more side scanning just kind of looking for you know See if I could find some kind of brush or anything like that um, And really we're just kind of like, you know what? Let's just call it and on the way back um, To the boat ramp. There's actually a bridge that we crossed underneath and I was like, let's hit the spot one more time and that kind of paying off um, right next to those bridge pylons you know there's a bunch of fish stacked up in there and we finally got a couple to bite you know we got some bigger ones had one fell off so I think all in total I don't know how much fish we caught but I know we have like five keepers that we took home five or six so I'm gonna fillet them up right now get some golden crispy nuggets going get some dinner going later on and uh, take a nap because I'm exhausted I'm running on like three hours of sleep and uh, 
but I was super excited to go. So that's what's, what's finally hitting me now. Like I'm, I'm actually like really feeling it now. So we had a good time. Vlad had a good time. Like I said, this is his first time probably fishing ever in his life. I had to teach him literally the basics, how to, how to open a bale, how to cast the rod, how to tie on a jig. It was just like starting somebody from scratch. So he had a blast and uh, I'll try to do my best to translate because uh, uh, his English is not the best. So I'll try to do my best to translate it and just kind of show you what. So it was not really a super exciting day, but still we had fun uh, and I think it's worth posting. So um, if it was any worse, I wouldn't be even considering posting this video, but um, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, it was just a quick, fun little fishing trip, you know, a few hours on the lake. I mean, more like six hours on the lake, but a couple hours on the lake or whatever, half a day on the lake is better than, you know, anything else. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I need to go take a nap because I can't even talk right now. <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.